Hey, what's up? Good morning, everyone. So this week I decided to do something completely different. Um, I usually just go to the gym, I do some cardio, I do a little bit of weight, some hit. But this week I decided to venture outside of my comfort zone and to do core power yoga. I've done a couple of yoga classes here and there at 24, but I'm sure it's like completely different than core power yoga. I've heard that they have classes that like are in heat and they're like way different and more intense. So I'm excited for that. Um, I'm a little bit intimidated because for one, my yoga mat is so ugly. <laughs> I'm intimidated by like all the, all the soccer moms that probably do this like all the freaking time and are like really good at it. So I don't know. I feel like it's gonna be a lot like one of those like classes that I take at 24 where it's a lot of older people as opposed to young people. That's just my, um, that's what I think it is, but I don't even know. I've never been to any of these classes. Um, I weighed myself in this morning and it was kind of like shocking to see that I was still almost the same weight because I've literally been eating fast food like almost every single day. So that's why I wanted to do this cleanse and to kind of like get my life back together because I don't know, like I've been all over the place. It's pretty much gonna be it. I'll see you guys there. First impressions is actually not too bad. Like I can see it from where I'm parked. And I thought I parked really far, but it's like on that second floor. Join me. <laughs> so, how was your first time? It was, I don't, it was not that bad. It wasn't bad, but it was hot as hell. <laughs> I prefer, you know. They should do the kickboxing classes more. Really? I haven't done that one before. The end of day one of Core Power Yoga, and I just finished my class. It's around like it's like 10, 15. So I did the yoga sculpt class in the morning from I did one class um yoga sculpt in the morning i think it was like from 9 30 to 10 30 or something around that and then the other one called c2 i focus more on like core work and stretching out and balance so my normal workouts consist of hit workouts and running so sculpt they said that's normally like harder but for me it was a lot easier because it was things that i was more accustomed to um, T2 was a lot more stretching and balance, which like I never touch on because I don't really do yoga on a normal basis. I don't stretch very often. So, I dragged my friends along with me and I was surprised that they were down to go, but I was glad to go because I had ate so much before it. Um, T2 class was a lot harder because there was a lot of like... Um, holding poses and I had just eaten before I definitely don't suggest that definitely don't suggest eating too much before your classes because I felt a little bit like like I was gonna throw up <laughs> so definitely don't suggest that but you do need to drink like a lot a lot of water if you're gonna take two classes because it is really dehydrating and they are in saunas so something to keep in mind I feel pretty good right now like I don't know if I'm gonna feel it in the morning because it's only been like a couple hours but I'll check in with you guys later. Hi, good morning everyone. Day two. I woke up feeling really sore like in my abs and then like in my shoulder area, or right here. I think that's from doing the, it's like the Chagloranda or something like that. But I'm gonna weigh myself in. I'm probably either gaining weight or like staying the same. Wait, what? I'm 22.8. Weird. I wonder if it's just because I'm losing a lot of water weight. I don't even know. Okay, so change of plans. So I actually went to a different studio and I only did one hour today. I felt like it was really mellow this time. Um, it was pretty hot. It's always really hot though. But I'm still sore from yesterday, so I was like, I don't really want to do a second day or a second class. 
but you always feel so dehydrated after because you sweat so much um but yeah i think that's all i'm gonna do for today we're going to joshua tree later today and i just want to get ready for that so i don't know if we're gonna end up going i don't know if there's a core power yoga there but i'm probably gonna go um i don't know we'll see but yeah today's class is really good um the studio is way bigger i feel like but I do like it because it's like more spaced out and I like having my own space. Like the class I took last night, I was literally like bumping into my friend. I knocked over my water bottle. It was like so crowded. Um, so I really did like this one. It was, it like gets you into a good head space. And right now I'm just trying to keep that head space so that I can stay calm because I was a little bit like frustrated this morning. Hey, what's up everyone? It's Thursday night. Um, we just got back from our trip and it was a really stressful trip so I was like I decided to do yoga because it helps me get into a better headspace um, I can talk about like the trip later on but anyway I went to yoga school from 7 30 to 8 30 and I was having like really really bad period cramps because like TMI I just started my period today and I didn't even know if I wanted to do it because it's hot yoga and I might feel like gross but it actually helped a lot um, I don't feel like I was like gross anymore um, also, I don't know, it just like puts you in a better mood and I'm like just happy that I went. And like I, there were like three instructors today, I don't know, there's like some sort of program where they help you change your like mental and your physical stability, all this kind of stuff and it's just really interesting and it made me like kind of sad that I signed up for my freaking 24 hour pass because I really like this, it's just like really far from my house. I don't know, maybe somewhere down the line I'll invest in it but... I really love it like it's really good I don't know like and the time goes by fast like I never watch the time like for example when I'm working out on my own really strictly watch the time but here I don't know if it's because like I don't have my phone or I just like get lost in the workout but like it feels really good and like I like when the time goes by like it's crazy to see how fast it went by <sighs> but yeah I'm kind of sad that my my like week trial is almost over because it's been a really good experience so far and like, I don't know, like maybe one day I'll sign up for it. What's up everyone? So I'm coming to you like maybe like three days after I did my first week of core power yoga. And honestly, I know at the beginning of this journey like I was really like trying to track my weight and like see if I lost any weight and all this kind of stuff and I made it a very fitness based video. But as like the days and like the classes went on, I realized I feel like I gained more than just fitness through this. There's so much like meditation that I didn't realize that I even could meditate. We had like a hypnosis event where like you had to like clear your mind and everything and I was not able to do that so now that I'm able to like go to yoga and sit down and actually meditate I'm able to implement that into like my own like real life like stay calm in different events and I don't know like Core power yoga like was a lot more than just like fitness to me. It was really good fitness because I love the fact that it was like really hot and like yoga there was yoga sculpt um and CT or no not CT C2 that I did and those were my main two. I never did C1 um but I did do the hot power fusion. Doctors were really good at the music and the vibes of the area. It made me really want to be like I think it's a black tag member but I already paid for my 24 hour fitness. Overall, this experience is really good. And if you don't, like I'm not even like sponsored by them, <laughs> but you guys should, you should sponsor me. I feel like I've really like implemented yoga into my own routine now. And I'm really convinced that I want to get um, like a pass or like even like a class pass or something where I can actually use the studio and go to the studio. Because now that my week is over, I'm like kind of sad and having withdrawals. Like my very last day, I did it at 5 a.m. In the morning, seeing the sunrise, it puts you in a really good mood. And I just really liked it. But especially it's very, it starts very slow pace and it goes very fast. And I think that's what I really like about it. Because normally the yoga classes at 24 Hour Fitness were very slow. And I like the fact that it would pick up the pace. Um... But yeah, I definitely recommend it. I think it really like encompasses like mind, body, and soul, and I really like that. And I just really want to go back, but I don't know what to do now. I really am convinced that I wanted to do core power yoga at least like once a week. Back to like the weight thing, 
I did drop like one pound. I'm pretty sure it's my water weight. And then it like after like day three, it went back. And now I'm just back at my baseline weight. Um, I started at like 123. I went down to like 122. And then now I'm back to 123. Um, I, it's definitely something that you can do every day. Oh my god, wait. You could definitely do it like five days a week. My biggest issue with it was the fact that I didn't, I don't live close to one. So for me, without traffic, it's like 20 minutes. With traffic, it could be up to 30 minutes. Imagine 30 minutes there, 30 minutes back. And that's like, the class is only an hour. Um, another thing was, I always tried to do back-to-back -back classes, but I don't ever think I did a back-to-back -back class. Um, you do need to drink a lot of water because it does dehydrate you so throughout the day after your class definitely Keep drinking water have like a big water bottle like I would okay. Well, there's like um, Something else in here, but I would keep water in here and just sip out of it because I just feel really dehydrated throughout the day Like I could feel it in my skin thing. And I don't know if this is a stupid question I don't know if any of you do core power yoga I'm about to get eyelash extensions, but I also want to do core power yoga How do you like like upkeep it or can you not like I don't even know But yeah overall, I feel like I got a lot more than just fitness out of it I got peace of mind <laughs> Some stretches you do the work the workout and then you meditate at the end and I really love that about it So it's definitely an investment. It's not cheap either. I know that the first month is like they say it's only $90 so I don't know what the actual price is if you haven't already I definitely recommend trying it out um it's unlimited classes I'm literally not sponsored by them but I I just like one day decided that I was tired of my fitness routine and this really like helped me kind of get back on track yeah that's pretty much it if you like these kinds of videos definitely give this video a thumbs up and comment down below um if you do yoga yourself or like what classes you like to take if there are any other yoga studios that you'd recommend definitely recommend them down below because I've only ever heard of core power yoga and I really love it so definitely try it out if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next vlog <laughs>